Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Bonjour, hello. Today is the Sunday, the 12th of April, 26th day of lockdown. And I'm finishing off a job I started yesterday. I did a video yesterday, I'll put the link in up there to it. And today's just going to be a three stage thing. Yesterday I washed the car and did a few other things. I'm going to today. Three stages. One, I'm going to finish cleaning up the interior by doing all the upholstery and stuff. Two, I'm going to give it a full polish, including doing the windows in and out. And three, I'm going to change the wheels over and fit the summer tyres, the road tyres, not the win take the winter ones off. Not as easy, not as simple and straightforward as you would think, especially for someone who has a little bit of an OCD element in his character. So anyway, here's today's video and it's going to finish up with a full tour around the car showing exactly how the car looks in the end. Okay, so all the upholstery is done as you see. It's looking really nice. I've done all the dashboard, I've done all down the sides here and there's no point in doing that every time I jump in and out it's going to get uh, manky so footprints and stuff and really that's why that mat's there so everything's all clean and tidy inside the other door all good have a wee look around and I'm very happy with that I'm not being too particular about it all one thing I have done is I've taken the, the GPS off, just so I can clean the window, but the dash cam, I'm going to leave in place. It took me a long time to get that exactly where I wanted it uh, for the ideal views, so just going to leave that. I've done all the, um, the visors as well, and around the seats, everything is good inside. So on with the polish. Now preparation for the polish. I'm uh, going to do the polish first and then the windows because the windows, when you do the polish, you get little sort of white traces on there and that will come away when I do the, the, the windows. So obviously I've got to take the antenna off to get on here. And the other thing I'm going to do is, rather than try and sort of reach over, I'm going to uh, get the, the little stool out again. So I've got a nice angle of attack on the roof. Again, starting at the top, working down, and I'm not too bothered about any dust that's on it. It'll help the cut, as it were. There's no stones around because it's just fresh from the wash yesterday. This stuff, yeah, it's nothing really. And you can see where the the, the water's kind of come away from behind the, the trim there. Uh, I think you can see that, yeah. And uh, that's the things I was trying to avoid and not doing the polish yesterday. Like before, I'm going to start up with the roof, then I'm going to work down to the bonnet and the whole front section. Then I'm going to go around the back, do uh, down behind the back section there, and then I'm going to work down. Again, same as washing, the dirtiest and most uh, resistant parts are on the lower part of the car. So do the easy stuff top end first, and also that gives me a feel. When you're putting this polish on, when you're bringing the polish back off, you get a feel for... Uh, what it's like. Now I want to get away and do this when I, uh, quickly because you can see the sunshine line that's going to come towards us here and I want to get as much of it done as possible before the sun comes on it. Never directly uh, in the sun for this job. So uh, I'll, I'll show you the techniques that I'm using when, I, when I'm on the bonnet there which is one of the most challenging parts because it's the part that is the most visible around the car and the most reflective to sunlight that comes from above. Another preparation for the car is, I'll just pop these rear windows open, that lets me get into the, the areas at the side there, and just get them open, and we're good. 
when I'm doing these, the last thing I'll do is I'll, I'll go around these parts that uh, was the last part of the wash as well. Ready. Right, so the main centre part of the roof's done. I've, I've not done, I've only done two of the rails from this side. So, uh, got it looking really good. Put the aerial back. Spotless, it's perfect. Right, one little top tip in all this is keep all the gear in the one place. Make sure that your rags aren't able to blow away. There's nothing worse than if we've got a few breezes and things today. There's nothing worse than if you're working away and something lands up or if you keep putting it down in different places. You put it back exactly where you got it the first time and you know exactly where it is. It keeps your rhythm going, keeps your timing going. Timing is actually quite a, a useful thing in this exercise because it, it's quite critical the amount of time between the put on and the take off. Incidentally, when I mention wind, there's a couple of breezes about today. We don't have a clear sky, but we've got this lot coming in, very high cloud, and the stuff that preceded it, it's just beautiful. I'll just scoot around a few of the, the clouds that are here today, just above the, the mountain, above uh, 1650. Really quite beautiful, but this is this uh, weather system that's starting to come in. This is why the weather's going to be a little bit cooler today, because we don't have quite so much direct sun. That might work a bit in my favour as well, because it'll keep me warm when the sun does come round. You can see the line there. Maybe we've got about two or three hours to do this before it starts hitting the car. The first thing I'll do before um, doing the main area is I'll just attack the problems or the potential problem areas first because I'll be able to then go over with them and match them into the rest of the bonnet afterwards. So first things first, let's have a look at this scratch there. Yeah, it's, it's not a scratch actually, it's something where a fly or something's had a little walk. And again, always make sure that your eye is in the line of sight to get a good reflection on it. Now, very hard pressure, I'll give it a little bit more polish on there, put the polish down it and quite very heavy, very heavy pressure on that, running up and down the line of the mark and hey presto it's gone and, and give that a bit of pressure too. Just having a look around, that's the only thing I can really spot. With me not doing too much running about, and it was in the winter, there's not really any massive fly symmetry in the front either. So I'm just spotting another one there. Again, very heavy pressure. A little bit of polish individually for that. And hey presto. Polished out, as they say. Now, let's take the excess off. Still a little line there. Let's give it a bit more. Just the forefinger pressing on the line of that mark, and it's gone. Just working with a piece of cloth about the size of my hand, and what I do is I don't apply it direct to the paintwork. Put some on the cloth, and just work it into itself, and that way. I've got an even spread on the start of it.
stop the video at that. You can see it's, it's turned out pretty nice. I'm going to stop the video because this is going to involve a lot of jumping around, pressing, getting different angles and all the rest of it. Not going to be very pleasant for the video. So just on a, a final light dust over once I've got all the marks off. Makes it evenly spreads. Makes sure there's no traces left. I can feel the bits that have got traces even though I am looking. And that's that side done. I'll go over to the other side next. Just changing technique a bit here. You, you adapt to what you've got. I'm finding this is a lot better done if I'm taking the polish off almost immediately. Um, a lot different from if I was doing a car that had recently been in uh, showroom condition. So, with the, the having endured a winter of salty roads and the bonnet collects all the road grease and salt and stuff. So I'm finding it's a lot more efficient and a lot better to be taking that off. Yeah, a lot quicker, easier to just take it all off straight away. And the acid test when you I've done all this now and the acid test when you've finished is get a clean side of the towel, throw it on. Yeah that's good. I'm sure there's something I can pop this on and pop it on the negative side of the battery. No short and out there. dirt on so next time I use that cloth I'll use the other side of that wet bit it's a pretty good engine compartment for an 18 year old car all right so that's the cleanup done on Saxol now uh, I'm not going to do the wheels quite yet I'm actually quite a bit tired it's quite exertive doing that just brings another thought to mind, when all this uh, crisis stuff is over, how many of us are going to be unfit? Especially those who haven't actually taken the trouble to keep fit. I have been doing so. And anyway, I'm getting a bit hungry now, so I'm going to grab something to eat. And overall, with the 11 metre band and the radio being so quiet recently, I've heard on the radio in the car um, a bit of activity. So I'm going to go in, get something to eat, take it easy, play radio edit video <laughs> so uh, I'll roll out with a quick tour around the car and how she's looking now she's looking really handsome now it's an 18 year old car so it's not perfect there are blemishes flaws the odd dink nothing serious though nothing daft and I'm really chuffed with how it's turned out so anyway that's uh, today's video done thanks again very much for watching every time I say this but I really mean it thanks very much for watching don't forget you can uh, hit on the the thumbs up I think it's the other way around actually I think it's that way around and difficult to get the lefts and rights in these um, <laughs> so yeah click on that if you like it show me you like it make comments share it with people share it online whatever and don't forget you can always subscribe down there and click on the alert bell, click on all afterwards and you'll be notified of future uploads on Max Mountain World. So until the next one, ciao.